Hey guys, it's Tori from Monogram Moments and today I'm going to show you all how to use the monograms that I sell on my website to make the monogram that you need. So first you can go to my website monogrammoments.com and today we're going to be using the watermelon monogram. So you can go over here to the search bar and just type in watermelon and it pops up right there. So once you get it downloaded and added to your computer, you can then open up Silhouette Studio. I am using Business Edition, but you do not need Business Edition to do what I'm about to do. So once you've got Silhouette open, you can drag in the initials that you need for your monogram. Make sure you don't drag on top of what is already placed there because it replaces it. So when you pull it, just place it somewhere else on the screen. So I've got my three monograms I want to use, and I'm going to select over here and drag my mouse so all of them are selected. I'm going to go to this arrange tool and I'm going to select or align in the center and then I want to align middle. So now it's nice and neat. I am going to move this one over a little bit so I have more of a gap where I'm going to be cutting. So today we are going to be using the knife tool. The knife tool is going to, is going to separate this monogram for us. Do you notice that I have this bounding box? That is what the knife tool needs to go through. So I need to start the knife tool up here and it needs to go all the way down below the bounding box at the bottom. So I'm going to select the knife tool and make sure you have it on straight. However, I do want to tell you that the freehand one is very handy in a lot of different um, designs that you might need. So. I've got my knife tool ready. I'm going to slice it down. Make sure that that slice does not cut into your monogram. So there's one slice. Now I'm going to go to this side and that's not going to slice straight down. So I just let it go. I am dragging my mouse all the way down and I don't let go until I get to the end. So once I'm done with that, I select my select tool again and I'm just going to drag and delete the initials that I don't need. Okay, so I'm going to pull these back together and I'm going to select over here again, hold my mouse down and drag so they're all selected. I'm going to go back to this arrange tool and I'm going to select arrange in the middle and then I'm going to select a space horizontal so the space between these will be equal. Now I do want my D to move over just a tad so it looks better. I'm going to move my H over good bit as well. So you still might have to adjust a little bit even after you use that tool. So once you're happy with how the spacing is, you can select all of these again by dragging, right click, and select group. And now you can do whatever else you need to do to print. And that is it. Thanks guys. If you have any questions, let me know. And please feel free to check out any other videos that I have on my YouTube.